So hello everyone, this is Ananya Bish and I am currently a second year student at IIT Kanpur pursuing B.Tech in Civil Engineering. And today we have with us Shonak Joshi and he has completed his B.Tech in Energy Science and Engineering from IIT Bombay. So over to you Shonak, like, could you introduce yourself a bit? Hi, I'm Shonak and I graduated from uh, the dual degree of B.Tech plus M.Tech in Energy Science and Engineering from IIT Bombay uh, like this year in 2022 and now... I'm doing a PhD here in the US right now. Yeah. Okay. So like, uh, can you like tell yourself, uh, tell about a bit like what made you choose this branch, Energy Science and Engineering during your mm -hmm. JOSA counseling? Uh, so first of all, like, I was sort of interested in chemistry a bit. And uh, then I sort of looked around various options that I had. And in particular, uh, like I didn't want to commit myself to chemical or metallurgical engineering which made me which made mechanical the safe choice for me and at the same time I just looked through the branch of energy uh, science and engineering and sort of it has like it is sort of a fusion of three branches like electrical mechanical chemical right. a little bit of metallurgy and stuff like that so in a sense it's an interdisciplinary b-tech which has its own pros and cons but yeah, like the interdisciplinary nature and like the area that matched my interest that made me go for it. Right, sure, that's great. So like, uh, what is in energy engineering all about? Like, what is the work of energy engineering? It's like, can you explain like in a layman language to a student? Because like many people don't know right. about. Right, so uh, if you look at the core branches, right, like mechanical right. or electrical, you get a sense of what it is. So electrical right. means exactly. related to electrical electronics and you explore the depths of it. So similarly in energy, it's all about the energy that we have. So it can be various sources of energy or the energy related policies or whatever, like anything that you can think of and all the associated things that go with it. So if you look at solar PVs, then we explore all aspects of them. For example, like if, if you require like uh, some electrical uh, hardware for the solar PVs and there are courses on electrical. So all these aspects where you you'll explore thermodynamics, transport phenomena, fluid flow, stuff like that, all electrical courses, some chemical ones. Okay, so this right. is broadly what energy is and to like express it in a very simple language, it's just that everything related to energy as a sub point. So you take all the branches and just look at courses that are related to energy or power and you just combine them and you get energy. Engineering. Right. Okay. So that was a like great explanation. And like, uh, who do you think according is like according to you like who is the best fit for this branch? Like, who should take energy engineering? And like, what were the major courses and electives that you studied in your college? Ah, that's a very broad question actually. Like, it depends on who who's interested in energy and stuff like that. But I difficult to gauge when you are like right. just near this in and like it's uh next to an impossible task but hmm. for energy uh, i would say that if you uh, i don't know how to say it. let's like uh it's a very broad spectrum where you can really explore your skill set so if you're not really sure about uh, a particular okay. interest and you have some broad interest if you go through the curriculum you sort of like it then this can be a good branch to uh, like explore your interest in a way that energy has a lot of electives ranging from electrical to like all the branches that I mentioned and okay. there are like if you want to go into batteries for example or solar PVs or nuclear engineering and maybe some something on the policy related side and stuff like that so for all those things like energy is the department and there's a lot of flexibility at least at IIT Bombay I'm not sure about okay. the other programs but it's a lot of flexibility in the courses that you can take in the institute so it does offer that flexibility as well. So the target audience, I would say, is people who like the buzzwords that I just mentioned. Yeah. Right. So like, yeah, moving on to your like internship experience, like, uh, mm -hmm. could you like share a bit about the internship opportunities for projects available st for students in energy engineering, like those who are pursuing in energy engineering right now? Right. Uh, so as, like for the internship scene in India, at least it's more like there are specific companies that came to IIT Bombay, which took right. especially from the energy department and more or less us being like uh, at IIT Bombay previously, we just had a five-year dual degree course. This year it has changed to a B-Tech course, but that's why like, 
uh, if you want to go into the non core and stuff like that that's something that had a disadvantage during our time because we were five year dual degree students and for energy specific companies i would say there are many companies that come from the electrical point of view like there's murata there's bajaj there's jaguar landor and like many many other companies who hire from in, like they have an electrical profile and they hire students from electrical energy and other departments and there are even newer companies emerging in the solar field and yeah but the thing is in energy there's no company that comes looking for energy students because okay. it's no department it's mm-hmm. not that known and so it's basically you have to go into companies that have come looking for mechanical electrical but now they know about your department okay so like talking a bit more specifically now like uh, how was the internship experience at drdo and like university of illinois like how did you come across this and like how did you get the opportunity to work as an intern over there uh, so like my internship at drdo i just got it through like some uh, like apping if you will like i had a contact there and i got an internship and it was a good experience for me because as a they can interact with a lot of people there and really do research at a level like you wouldn't have imagined otherwise right and for the like the ui uc case it was sort of a sad thing because like i was supposed to go to the us then covid hit and then it mm. was just a work from home thing so like nothing specific to mention okay. there yeah okay sure so like can you share a bit about your phd journey also like so far at stanford yeah. okay like it's just starting so it's like this like been two or three months okay. but i mean so it's like so far like what have you experienced in like mm-hmm. it's a very broad question actually to like cover in a short okay. amount of time but like there's a huge cultural shift there's a huge culture right, that right. shift that you see in academics as well hmm. but overall it's been great like i'm learning new things every day yeah sure sure and like uh, what are the opportunities available for this branch apart from going into research like if you talk about placement yeah. specifically like what's your take on this at like iit bombay uh like placements right so right. especially during our year like there was a placement boom in india because like there there's no hiring for two years so i'm not the right. guy who like knows a lot about placements because i never hmm. like Again. went into it but especially this i can talk about this year because all of my friends are here like over there for placements and there are at least let me give you numbers like there are eight or nine people out of 25 to 26 in our batch who are right now working in core companies four right. of us are doing a phd and the rest of them are like scattered around the non core industry made we coding software development mm-hmm. consulting finance etc Okay, so yeah, I think yeah, that was it about the internship and placement thing. Like, just a last section, a bit of like, what was your experience at IIT Bombay and how it is like to attend like the best engineering college all over India? Like, could you like share a bit about that? Uh, one thing I would like to say is that it's not that professors are really great at IIT Bombay or like right. you are taught something different. It's the same thing that is being taught at almost all colleges, but. the one thing that makes iit bombay different from other uh, colleges i would not say other iits is that there's right. such a great connection of alumni and this right. culture at iit bombay where uh, so for example i had to come for a phd i had so many seniors that i had to right. support me you already had like people yeah exactly and like you have that for everything even during your stay right. at iit bombay you have a very deep network of like clubs mm-hmm. Uh, festivals and stuff like right. that. So it's the hostel life that I would say I enjoyed the most. Yeah. Basically, it's the people like who matter the most. Okay. Yes, exactly. Right. So, like, also, like, uh, this one question is like really sought after. Like, students ask this before, like, choosing their branch or joining the college. Like, should we give preference to the branch or the institute? I guess this is a debate that's going on for right. a long time. <laughs> but in like in my particular like, what's case what's your point of view yeah in my particular case i was like just applying for mechanical engineering and then right. just this one energy engineering thing popped up so if not for iit bombay else i would have been in iit hyderabad mechanical maybe during right. my time and i think i've i'm much better off at iit bombay to right. be honest and like i can't even debate how lucky i was at that time 
to find about energy but like it's a question that has no right answer to it exactly. and it's it just depends on the information information that you get and how you want to make a decision so for me personally i would say at least for my personal case the choosing the institute over a branch was something that went well for me but not necessarily right. so yeah i mean it's up for debate awesome. that's that's amazing so like uh, just wrapping up the interview with this last question like what's like any final messages to the students who will be watching this and will be joining like different indian colleges in india mm-hmm. uh what he would say is that just don't uh get into the pressure of colleges because right uh, it's really uh a very competitive scene in all aspects and somewhere we lose our peace of mind so i just give this one thought to everyone who's just watching this video is that if we want to say ki after 4 years we'll do this and this we want to do right. this and this that's why we are working right now that's a good thought to have but then again you have to say ki that these four years are the best years of your lives right. and yes. you understand that as they are ending so just make sure to enjoy them and study like just focus on what your goals at the same time that's what i would say yeah okay yeah so that's it for the interview like uh...